Hey, what's up guys? It's me. I'm playing a uh, Placid Plastic Duck Simulator. Just kind of saw this game on Steam. Uh, it was like a dollar, so... I don't know, I'm, I'm expecting great things from this game. This better be the most exciting thing I ever do. These are some complex controls. What the fuck? I'm not gonna remember any of that. We got our first duck. <laughs> He's, uh... Looks pretty cool. Can I do anything? Man, I kind of fuck with this music. So, it looks like this is the game. You just kind of... Just kind of watch a duck sit in a pool. If you have some kind of anti-sobering substance, get that right now. So yeah, we're just going to sit here, ride, and we're going to watch these ducks just kind of... Just kind of do- oh, I can make him- Oh, he can quack! Holy shit, he can quack! Oh, it's so cool, I- I love this game. This was, this was a dollar- oh shit. No, don't go in there! Don't go in there! Oh, maybe. Actually, no, it's- it's cool, man. You can- Is he even gonna be able to make it up there? I don't think that's- I don't think that's how physics works. Looks like he, uh, overshot it a little bit. Oh shit, we got another one. Oh, he's cool. He's like fucking like purple and shit and shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Genuinely entertaining. I like this a lot. This game is fun. Shout out to Quibbles uh, on YouTube. He's a pal of mine and he he introduces me to this game. Uh, so thanks thanks for that, buddy. Uh, this 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 is probably the most entertaining game I've played in a while. Yeah, I fucking love this. This is this is an amazing experience. This is a dollar well spent. I want another duck. It was like these guys these guys are cool. Don't get me wrong, but. I would like to see another duck join join in here. You know, I think these two... Clearly, I think there's a little bit of tension here. Maybe the relationship, they just... It didn't work out. So maybe we need a new partner for each of them, you know? Hey! We'll see who this little guy is into and, you know, we'll go from there. Why did he jump? What is happening? How is my man doing this? You know, to tell, the, tell you the truth, I... Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> but why does it sound like there's like some fucking like Spanish like radio? Oh shit. What the fuck? Is I'm not playing this up. I'm genuinely so confused right now. I didn't know this could even happen. Well, fuck it. I'm going to the other ducks. He can, if he, if he wants to be like that, if you want to come back at some point, feel free. Oh, looks like these two have rekindled their relationship a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that was some... Mmm, that was some tension right there. Oh, I can sit and watch them. That's so cool. I'm not, like, lying at all when I say that I love the... Oh, shit, we got a new, a new contender. What the f... Is that a stone duck? All right, then. That's a little counterintuitive, I guess. So apparently, Placid Plastic Duck Simulator is also an edging simulator because some of these ducks can suck ass. And some can just fly away, apparently, too. Literally, he's... N he, I don't know where this, this kid went. So purple looks like he's established a base here, a little base of operations, and it looks... Like, the yellow duck here, uh, has nothing, he wants nothing to do with that, which is, you know, fine. Uh, purple over here seems to be enjoying uh, his new space here, which is pretty cool. It, it, it appears that purple is marking his territory by turning the entire fucking pool purple, which is pretty dope. I like this guy, he's kind of cool. I think eventually, once we get a couple more ducks in here, uh, we'll start establishing some kind of community, maybe some kind of classes, something- oh shit! 
Purple has now come back to the main area and is now... It looks like uh, the yellow duck and polka dot are really hitting it off. I like that. I like that. That's cool. Uh, it looks like purple does not appreciate this. This this bad switch in um, yellow's mood here. You know, these two clearly, if you've been keeping up, have been are, are freshly separated, uh, which is what sparked purple going and establishing his own little little thing there. But it looks like. Um, Purple's actually- Oh shit! He's cool- Yo! This duck is cool as shit! Oh my god, this is my new favorite duck. This is my new favorite duck. Anyways, so, back to the lore here. It- 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 it, it appears- Oh shit, yellow is just a really, really- looks, looks- looks like he's a bad guy, really. I mean, he's- looks like he's trying to make moves on this- this sick duck. And purple, apparently, is not a fan, and neither- Oh shit, these two are gonna fight, oh no. Uh oh, okay, okay, oh, purple is just- Oh, purple just gave yellow a piece of his- Oh, man. Well, yellow, that's what you get for being such an unfaithful piece of shit, that's right. You- I think yellow here is on a track to actually go take over purple's land. Uh, the trajectory seems a little off, but it's possible that these- th that, that- that shit. No, he's- he's fucked, he's fucked. He's not- he's not getting there. Purple! Purple! It appears that- that Yellow, uh, was so upset, uh, that he has now moved on to the other island. And the other ducks are just kinda doing their own thing, they're chilling. Now that Yellow, that bastard, uh, is out of here. Which is great to see. They're they're all really getting along. I can I can I can feel the the, the vibe is really on point, especially because of this fucking music. God damn, so chill. Because the ultimate threat of this this little douchebag asshole over here, this little limp dick duck, uh, he, he's gone. He's out of the picture for now. So, you know, they're all just doing their own thing. Unfortunately, it is looking like the polka dot duck wants some in, wants in on some of that action, so... I thought for sure the polka dot duck would, uh... be unable to resist his urges and go see yellow again. Oh shit, we got a new one. And we got the, the, the cream duck, that's cool. Maybe cream duck can, uh... can really... bring peace to this nation. I'm still pissed about this one, though. Right, it looks like cream and purple are like really getting into it, so I'm gonna give them a little time alone actually. Yeah. Oh fuck no, polka dot duck, it's a mistake. You left him for a reason. Get out of there where you still can. Go, 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 go. He can't hurt you. Go. Oh thank god. Polka Dot Duck made the right decision. Things could have almost been real, real bad, but it looks like Yellow over here has gotten wind of what's going on, and that's that's scary, because I don't know what kind of chaos would ensue if Yellow could somehow figure out how to use that, that little pump over there. Looks like Purple's going to visit Cream. These two are just... These two are just fantastic together. I'm so, I'm so glad they, they, that this Cream one just, like, kind of spawned in, because... I mean, it's nice to see Purple so happy. I've, I've never seen him so social before. It's, it's just such a nice environment not having that, that yellow duck. Or more like, more like yellow dick head, because that's what he is. I'm sure he's planning something just absolutely despicable, because th that's what I've come to expect from this guy, you know. Uh-oh. 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 That's not good. That's- oh, oh, man. This is devastating. I don't know if... He can get out a second time? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Please, please, get out- No! Oh, this is just brutal. Unfortunately, it looks like Polka Dot Duck has, once again, fallen under the control of Yellow Duck, which is tragic to say the least. Well, oh no. You don't want to be there. He's coming. He's coming. Guys, go. Holy shit, please. Oh, oh. Fuck. That was... That is absolutely disrespectful. I'm... I'm so sorry he did that to you. I'm so sorry. That is... Where is this little guy going? Holy shit! You can't trust this guy. He's, he's dangerous. He's armed, maybe, too. 
I don't even remember. I, I don't remember who I was talking to. Uh, Flower Duck, you are kind of just doing your own thing. It's, it's scary. What's what's po oh shh. Oof. Is that is that made out of shit? Uh, uh, apparently, God thinks this is some kind of funny joke. I had to wait like what seven minutes for this. It's a duck made out of shit. I'm gonna make something, something delicious, something that I'm not being paid to say. Although hopefully someday I will be. Oh shit! Hey, polka dot duck. Uh, something I, I hope that one day I'll be paid to say, but I am currently cr making a delicious cup of gamer subs. Uh, particularly the, the Misfits Melon flavor. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. It gives me the energy to... Mmm. So good, so good. I'm also drinking it out of a gamer subs shaker cup. Very nice cup. It's very cool. I've gotten many compliments. Of course, I'm not. I'm not being paid uh, to say this, although I wish I was. Gamer subs, if you're watching, uh, call me. Email. Oh shit! The oh, that's so cool. Holy shit! Wait. I okay. So we've got a what the fuck is that? Is that a, a UFO? What? is happening anyone watching please email tweet fucking make videos spam something just get get gamer get me on gamer subs radar i want to be their little bitch all right i want them to send me things and i want to tell people to buy their stuff i want a flavor too that's that's also a thing i want to talk if i had a gamer subs flavor oh that's he's, he's cool a distinguished gentleman Oh, oh, ovulations, old bean. There I go again with the VGHS references. As always, I'll put the clip in for anyone who doesn't know. Dead. <laughs> ovulations, old bean. What was I talking about? I'm so forgetful these days. Oh yeah, we've got a new development. Um, turns out Cream Duck uh, is actually uh, appears to be glow in the dark duck. Uh, which is fucking lit. We are pimp chimping right now, and I am fucking hard with this. Okay, so the other night I was thinking, right? Like, I was thinking this, this real deep philosophical conundrum that I had. Um, and it was that, like, I feel like controllers, like game controllers, can't really get much better than they are right now, I think. Like, basically, at this point, every controller, like the the fucking PlayStation DualShock shit or whatever, the Xbox, Xbox, like the X fucking Xbox controllers and shit, the Switch Pro controller, all that, like the, the, the like the, the three big game brands and their controllers are all basically the same. Like besides a few differences, they're fundamentally all the same design, right? Like, and I think it's just because it's it's a perfect design. Like, like holding it in my hands right now, this is the Switch Pro controller with uh, Donkey Kong on it. It's just a great feeling controller. Like the, the button layout is great. I also have right here, I don't have a PlayStation controller, but I do also have an Xbox, uh, one controller i think out of all th like all three of them i think the xbox one controller feels the best it's just such a nice feeling controller and i don't think it could get any better i think there's just about no way to innovate further besides just adding more little features to it you know or like adding a full fucking surround sound system is that but all that context aside what i'm saying what the original question idea thought thing was uh was you know the classic what if you went back in time you know and gave like a fucking caveman an xbox one controller like how would that affect society you know like you know, besides all the fucking stupid autistic, like, instantly shutting it down, like, Oh, he would, he would ooga booga and smash it on the rock. Like, fuck off. Be interesting, goddammit. Just, like, think about the, how, the possibility of how that could affect society. Having, having something as, as, 
I, I, I think that the control has, has hit its peak level. It cannot advance further. It is at, you know, level 100. It, ca it cannot extend. It is at its final evolution, it, it, which I think is one, it's one of the only objects in the world that's like that, you know? E either way, I, I just think it would be interesting thinking about if the Xbox controller was, you know, if that was some kind of massive cultural thing like it was like it was introduced to us very early on in history like i don't know would it impact our architecture it would it impact our understanding of technology would it impact our spirituality and the things that we value i mean what are what's all the shit that it could change you know what i mean like there's just so much wild shit to think about with just just how how giving an xbox controller to like a fucking caveman or like a medieval peasant like how at, do i have two i have two shit ducks that is fucked up oh is this a fucking arizona t duck yeah i was gonna talk about my gamer sub slaver <laughs> i don't know if it would be any good but i was thinking right like slime rancher I love that game. I should, fuck, I should play it in a bit. I should do a video in Slime Rancher. Shit, I'm gonna do it sometime. But Slime Rancher, I love that game. I love that game so much. And there's a food item in that game called Mint Mango, and I would love for that to be my flavor. The Schnorpel Gamer Subs flavor would be Mint Mango. We got to get some kind of deal going. I want a Mint Mango drink. We need to make that happen. Gamer Subs, Slime Rancher guys, we, the three of us, we need to come together and make this shit happen, alright? We need to make Mint Mango Gamer Subs flavor, which is- Oh, wait a minute! Oh my god! I have baby ducks! Yellow had babies! Yellow was a- was a girl duck all along holy shit you know i have two shit ducks or oh wait no this is wood this is a wooden duck i think or it's a clam i have no fucking idea. i think it's wood Ho holy shit dude wow this is the coolest thing i've ever fucking seen this is good this is thumbnail fuck yeah this is my favorite duck now it's been so long since i've seen those glasses holy shit this is this level and song is almost tapping into some some aesthetic that I'm that just makes me feel really really good, makes me feel tingly in all the right places. You know what I mean. So I had this video idea, and it's not too late to do it. It I, I feel like it would be better for like Michael Reeves or something. But anyone, if if anyone listens to this idea and wants to do it, you have full permission to. Um, I wanted I was thinking it'd be kind of fun. It would be a fun video idea to play Hollow Knight, but every time you kill an enemy, a real bug dies. I think that'd be kind of a, a fun little little video. Just every, every time you kill an enemy, kill a real bug. Like, you just have, like, a fucking tub of, like, ants or some shit. Every time you kill an enemy, it, like, I don't know, fucking squishes one or it shocks them or something. I don't know. Oh shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, I was looking down at my phone for a second and the sudden camera change just- Oh my- Oh my goodness gravy, that actually s What the fuck is- Okay. So I got the- the hentai duck too, that's cool. I'm starting to, like, lose track of all my ducks. Guess you could say I don't have all my ducks in a row. Alright, so, I'm not gonna read it in this video. However, I have something that I believe is one of the most important things I've ever done. I have archived an Overwatch fanfiction between the characters Junkrat and Roadhog called Fiery Love. Now, this fanfiction is incredibly graphic and incredibly gay and just all around very strange. I will read it eventually, if anyone is interested. Even one person in the comments is like, Read A Fiery Love. I will do it in a video. But I will warn you, it is incredibly graphic, and it is, and it is very gross. 
So, any of my friends that are watching this are probably cringing fucking hard right now. Because they know what this is. Actually, I haven't even explained why this is important. I've looked everywhere on the internet for this fucking fanfiction. Because I love it. I think it's hilarious. But it, it's just been scrubbed. And I first found out about this fanfiction from, uh, uh, Elvis the Alien video. People ruin Overwatch, I think. And in that video, he has a f another YouTuber, uh, Bionic Pig, read this fan fiction, and it's fucking f it's it's funny. And for the longest time, I've wanted it to myself to just read it, share it with other people for you know for laughs and goofs. But I've, it's never been around. Um, so I think last year, something like that, fairly recently, I sat down back on that that original video. And I transcribed it word for word. The entire thing. Every spelling mistake. Every single word. Every single... Everything. The entire story. Transcribed. It is... Uh, on my notes app here, it is... One, two, three, four, five. It is five pages long. And it is a fucking doozy of a story, I'll tell you what. It is... It never stops being funny. No, if, if anyone wants to hear that, just tell me in the fucking comments. I am eager and giddy to, to, to share this story, but I'm not gonna do it out of the blue. I want at least some form of consent <laughs> to share this story, because I, it, it is... It would be genuinely wrong for me to pull this out of nowhere. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. It's, uh, it, it's, it's a little dream that I had, uh, a little while ago. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but it was recently. Um, and it is the only time in a dream... Oh my goodness, gravy! What the hell is this? This guy's so cool! Yo, fucking PC duck. That is ha that is actually so cool. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna I want to tell you guys about a fucking dream that I had. Um, it is the most uncomfortable I've been inside of a dream before. Um, and yeah, it's just a really weird fucking dream. Uh, so basically, um, it takes place at school, as any good dream would. Um, and I don't think we were learning anything. I think we were just kind of fucking chilling there in class. I th I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the teacher wasn't even in there. We're all just kind of sitting there in silence. Uh, and, th and then, um, this guy in the back of the class is chewing gum, right? And it's, it's not just like one piece of, this is like a fucking wad of gum. It, 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 it's, 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 it's a big fucking chonking piece of gum, right? And, um, yeah, it's it's loud. It's almost animated in a way, because, again, dream, so it's fucking a little weird. And, but it, it gets worse, because he takes the gum out of his mouth, and he fucking blows a hot load of, of gum uh, into this wad of gum. Uh, he just shoot some baby gravy right into his gum and you will not believe what he does after he does this i'm literally not kidding you this was a dream that i had he takes the gum and he puts it in his mouth and continues fucking chewing right and he does this for a few minutes takes the gum out does the same shit again fucking he he, he comes in the gum again i don't i don't think he fucked it either i think he just literally just ejaculated in it and they called it good like it was it was very strange i remember in the dream it started off kind of funny like huh this is this is weird right like this guy's jerking off into his gum that's 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 kind of goofy you know everyone in the class was looking at each other weird like huh this is this is strange until he did it for like the third or fourth time because i i remember he did this an unholy amount of times like i'm talking six or seven like at one point he was just rapid fire like taking it out of his mouth coming putting it back in taking it out boom just over and over like it, it, this was insane he was becoming a well-oiled machine at impregnating his gum which he then ate it, it, it was just just the wildest and most uncomfortable dream i've ever had and i i, I woke up feeling different 
Right, like, I, I woke up feeling like I had become a different person just by having that dream. It was, it was bizarre to say the least. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? How did that even happen? It sounds like an air fryer. Oh, shit, the, the hentai duck is back. Making a grand appearance in the big pool. Yeah. Oh, I've got an alien duck now. Fuck yeah, dude. The story is progressing. And I think that is the perfect way to leave off this video. So, uh, yeah, if you liked the video, like the video, comment some shit, and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.